Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer. Welcome to a new game here on the channel, Big Ambitions. Now this was released on the 10th of March. Uh, I wanted to cover it obviously on release day, but as you know, and you can probably hear in my voice, um, I've been quite sick with uh, COVID over the weekend. Uh, I'm starting to feel a little bit better, so I'm going to try and start recording. We've got quite a lot of games to cover that have been handed to us over the last few days that I'm quite excited to showcase. But the first one is this. This I'm really, really excited for. And a lot of you have probably seen a lot of content out there already, um, but I'm very excited to bring our own series and our own spin onto this game so a little bit about big ambition is a revolutionary role-playing business sim go from nothing to the biggest entrepreneur in new york by opening small businesses or slowly building huge corporations any way you like okay so i've created our character just to kind of speed things up here uh, there isn't many things to choose from at the moment uh obviously this is still early access uh so let's start our game Hey kid, I hope you're feeling better. Anyway, I talked with a friend of mine, Richard. He owns a bunch of buildings in Hell's Kitchen, and he's kind of a big shot. Well, the bottom line is uh, he has a cheap apartment that uh, you could probably afford. It's not much, but it'll do. Okay, so welcome to the game itself. Here we go. Here is us in our big city. This is New York City. It's a pretty big map. Um, which I'm assuming is only going to expand over time. Uh, we got lots of stuff. We got loads of different businesses we can look at. And there's going to be more I've seen already in the pipeline as well, which is really, really exciting. Uh, so obviously, we, unfortunately for the first bit, we have to follow the tutorial. So this might be a little bit longer episode. Uh, we are playing on hard mode. I forgot to state that at the beginning. Uh, this is going to be a hard mode playthrough. See if we can get through it. Um, okay, so anyways, let's get out of the map where, where we are here. So let's we're going to first go down to our new home. Okay, so Uncle Fred has told us down here we should be able to afford it. Now, money will be tight for us. Things are a little bit more expensive. We've only started off with 4200 um, but hopefully we'll be okay. Fingers crossed and all that. Once you kind of start getting money coming in, it's not so bad. All right, so here you go. Here's our building in New York. Apparently, we're going to be able to afford this. So you can see all the information for all the buildings in the game when we, uh, you see, rent, buy, uh, etc. Purchase offices, uh, loads of different things. We can preview what the inside is going to look like, which is quite nice. I mean, that's more than big enough, right? Uh, daily rent only forty-four dollars. Lovely. Uh, traffic index is ten. Market value at twenty-six million. Is it? Yeah. Nice. Okay, so let's rent the building. And I believe we're going to go inside. Here we go. We've got our beautiful bed uh, and sleep. Okay, so it just wants us to sleep now. That's fine. You can see here we've got happiness, food and drink, and uh, sleeping. Let's wake up because I believe we need to go to a shop and stuff first. So let's wake up at 8 o'clock. Okay, so day one. We didn't lose any money, which is nice. All right. Let's see what Uncle has for us today. And... Uh... I also transferred a couple of bucks to your bank account because uh, I want to make sure you get something to eat, okay? Promise me. Alrighty, so first objectives are we need to go to the uh, maintenance store. I'm just crossing roads for no reason. Well, it doesn't matter. Uh, so we've got to buy a standard fridge from the local appliance store, uh, place a fridge in the apartment. Then we need to go and buy some food ourselves. I'm trying to get run over. Uh, this doesn't open till 9 o'clock. Now, the one good thing is we can sleep on the bench. We don't actually have that long to wait, in all honesty. Um, so let's go in. And it wants us to pick up a fridge. Unfortunately, it's the only thing we can carry, one at a time. And we're going to go pay for that. Okay, that's $1,800 out of the bank just for a fridge. Absolutely crazy. And now we've got the long run home. These crazy taxi drivers, eh? Who do they think they are? Okay, let's keep going. But I'm so excited. I love these kind of management simulation tycoon games, uh, especially business management and stuff. Alrighty, so we get to put this in our house. I'm going to make this the kitchen, I suppose. I mean, yeah, it's okay in that corner. I'm not going to be spending too much money on ourselves right now. Okay, back out we go. We need to then go up to the shop now. We need to go to the food market. 
And we need to buy some food. I am so bad with these kind of controls. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, here we go. We're at the food market. And uh, we need to go pick up a shopping basket. And then we're going to keep clicking on fresh food. I'm going to... Well, the $8. Uh, I've got 994 left. So let's pick up a week's worth of shopping. It's $50. Okay, we are going to get a job pretty soon. So let's not worry about it too much. Okay, and now the food is turned into a bag. And... Holy crap. <laughs> now we can go home. Down this street. We're in the wrong street. So we are living on 45 and 3rd Street. Nice. Okay, we can enter the house again and place all the food in there and we're going to eat one. There we go. Bars are nice. Now I'm full. Let's see what Uncle wants now. Get a job in the local hey, supermarket. Kid. I've gone ahead and paid your first rent, but that's it, okay? You need to get out there and get a job. Anything at all. You just need a salary right now. Of course. So we're going to go to the food market. Now, when I was younger, I did... Uh, work in a uh, food supermarket. I worked in uh, Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's was my very first job uh, while I was still at school. I was only uh, just over 15 at the time. That was my first ever job working in the supermarket. I loved it. Okay, so job board. You can see here, our day off will be Friday. Uh, so we're going to be working 8 till 4 pretty much every day. Wage per hour, 25. We have to take it. We don't really have a lot of choice. Uh, so we won't be here till tomorrow. Now, I'm going to got a little bit of money we've got 900 so there is a school so basically i know that there are a few things that we're going to have to do uh, to open our own business and one of them unfortunately is we have to go to school and learn some business management stuff uh so where is the school i think it's nearby isn't it yeah just across the road here it is okay let's uh let's go down the street then because we've got some spare time because literally today there's not much more we can do apart from sleep so what we'll do, we will start working on some of our management course stuff. I've got a little bit of money, not a lot. But we're going to need all this stuff for staff and things anyway. So basic management. And I'll tell you what we'll get from it. Uh, so we can actually study for seven hours. I need to do ten. That's going to cost me $200. What I'm going to do... Yeah, you know what? Let's, let's do it. Screw it. That's a big chunk of that done. We might even get to finish it tomorrow if my guy's not too tired. So we need to earn three hundred dollars from our new uh, our new job. I'm not worried about that at the moment. So let's head home. We can now sleep. And any of you guys that are on the Discord, or if any of you haven't, come join us in Discord. Uh, come share with me your business. Any hints and tips in the comments down below, please do. Uh, I, since I've been sick all weekend, I have not even had a good chance. I've literally played about half an hour. Uh, I tried to play on the Steam Deck, but unfortunately it crashes quite a bit on the Steam Deck, which was a bit of a shame. Uh, okay, so we need to be at work by 8. So let's wake up at 7. I think that's fine. Okay, we're going to consume some food. Obviously, making $300, $25 an hour, you know, probably maybe two days. Alrighty, let's, uh, I suppose it would be easier if we zoom in more when we're walking. Probably actually make it easier than being zoomed out. Okay, so we're still early at this minute, but what we can do, you'll see, we'll be able to go over here. Our shift hasn't started yet, but we'll be able to just assign ourselves. We've only got a couple of minutes to wait anyways. Nothing in here. Be able to buy frozen foods as well. We can open these kind of shops, which is pretty cool. Oh, well, here we go. Start working then. So we can fast forward the time this way. 
or we can just time machine to the end of shift, uh, which is okay for this job. We just want to get this out of the way. Bit of money in the bank. That's all it is. Okay. Um, what I will do is try and go to school now for the rest of today. If I don't get killed in traffic. Let's try and get this business management at least out of the way. We're going to be asked to do it. Have I gone the wrong way? Oh, bloody hell, I have as well. Okay, back. <laughs> yeah, it's this way. Just wanted to make sure. Okay, so we're going to go back into the... Uh, it's got four hours until it closes, so we should be able to get at least the, those last hours done on the first course. Uh, so learn basic management. That's going to give us my last three hours. Again, still cost me money. No one likes spending the money, especially when we don't have a lot, but... Uh, not much we can do about it today. And now let's head down the head home. So it won't be long and our uncle will give us a nice ride. We'll open our first shop. Okay, we'll probably eat something. And now we can go to bed. We are working at 8 tomorrow again, so same thing. Uh, wake up around... A seven point. As you can see here, we made 156 at work. That's not bad, really. And I'm not going to take any food. We're going to buy some food on the way home, hopefully, today. Now, there is another business course we have to do. That was the management. There is another one. Uh, we'll start working towards as well very, very soon. Okay, quickly run across the road. And I think as long as I'm in the shop, it automatically assigns, right? Is that what happened last time? The guy looks like me. <laughs> Zero percent discount. It's a good discount, that is. And again, what I'm going to do is just speed up the day. We should have done that objective now. job well done you're a chip off the old block just like your dad i think he was probably just about your age when he started his first business look if you need a loan to start something i got a friend over at uh, jensen capital his name is larry okay that's who you ask for and be sure to say hi from me your uncle fred okay okay so he wants us to get a loan i think i can go in and get that with this fresh food in my, in my uh my hand okay so we're going to jensen talk to larry Oh no. I'll go. Let's go put our food back. <laughs> I thought I was being smart. Okay, let's get uh, the food down. Hopefully the bank stakes open until uh, a little later than five. Okay, let's get in the building. Alrighty, we're happy. Let's go back up now and see can we get into Jensen. So what does it want us to do now? Take out a loan of 15,000, which is really not a lot on hard mode. Find and rent a retail building, maximum 75 meters in the garment district, which is basically where we are. We're just going to find a very small uh, place. That's hopefully our plan. Okay, let's go into Jensen then. Please be open. Okay. We want a new loan, and we want 15000 So this is going to cost me daily interest of $17, daily payment 62 uh, So daily payment actually is uh, $79, $42 plus on my rent. So yeah, bills are high. Okay, we've got the funds. So we now need to think about renting a building. 
So we've got to start the gift shop, quit the job. So once we quit the job, we actually get the car. So I don't want to do that yet. I'm probably going to do one more. Oh no, tomorrow's a day off. So tomorrow being a day off actually might be perfect. So we'll just go down to the house anyways. I'm going to bring up the map. So we can have a look here now of what we can buy. And you can put these up. So here we go. This is what we're... Oh, there's something next door. How much are you? So you can see here the traffic and the footfall. So these are going to be quite important. Um, but obviously then renting will be a bit different. The sizes are different. So this is our minimum, basically. Uh, these are quite a bit bigger. Now, the first shop, unfortunately, is a gift shop. We don't get a choice on that. So I'm thinking, and the garment district is this district. We have to stay within this at the minute. I think about why don't we just buy the one next door? I know it's not the busiest out there, but it's just next door, isn't it? Uh, open in Bismuth. Let's have a look then. The value of it is only 2 million. That's not too bad. Uh, so the daily rent is only 15 for this one. Uh, electrical appliance is 120. Deposit 457. Okay, so... Yeah, uh, it's not too bad actually. You know what? Let's rent the building. We're going to start a new business and we have to select the gift shop. Okay. Now, selecting names. Ah, oh, I hate this. Uh, we're going to be really boring with the first one. Gifts. How about that? Okay, so as we go forward, I'm going to let you guys name some businesses. And uh, let me know what business you'd like me to set up next. You know, what do we want? Supermarket, jewelry store, liquor store, florist, fast food, restaurant, coffee shop. I'm thinking a coffee shop. But, uh, you know, let me know what you guys think in the uh, comments down below. So let's start a business. So we've got to get some products. Cash register, checkout amounts, stack shopping. We've got quite a few bits that we now need to buy. Uh, there's so much in here. There's quite a lot of detail. Uh, so at the moment, we can set our working day. So today's Thursday. Friday, Saturday. We're going to work every day but Sunday. Sunday's going to be kind of like that filler day of restocking until we um, get some staff. 8 till 4. I'm, I'm happy with that. We don't be too tired because we've got a few bits that we need to do. Uh, especially until we can get some staff. Okay, so I'm happy with that. That's okay. Now... Again, we won't be open. I don't have all the bits and pieces in here yet. Okay, so let's close the map. Oh, we're here. Look, here we go. Here's our new shop. And there's gifts. So inside gifts, this is what we got. We could have previewed it beforehand. Uh, very basic. We don't even get the toilet. But one thing we do have now, it's probably too late in the day now, uh, is the hand truck, which is what we're going to need. It is my day off from my actual real job, so we're going to spend that day sorting this out and hopefully not losing too much money. So let's go to sleep then. There's not much else we can do. We'll get up. Uh, what time do you reckon the shop's going to open? Between like 7 and 9 probably. Okay. Yeah, good night's rest. We are opening our own business. Okay, we made $115. We've got one business. Very nice. Let's consume some food. And uh, let's go into gifts. Because I want the hand truck now. That hand truck's going to be handy. Now, we might just quit the job. I was hoping to do one more day, really. But, see how we go with this. Okay, so what I need now... Appliance store. Where are the appliance stores? There is one down here. And there's one up here. We're going to go to the one up here first. I think that will have the majority of the bits and pieces I need. Uh, so, what do we need, really? We need... Uh, products, point of sale, shopping baskets, which we can get from up here, which we will do now. That's kind of handy working uh, next door to your house. But I'm not sure if we'll be ready to open for tomorrow, so we might do one more day. Because we are on hard mode, we might do one more day working at the supermarket. And it wants us to quit the job now. We're going to park that vehicle for a second. Let's sit on the bench. This won't open till 9. I think it was 9 it said, wasn't it? Okay, so in here, hmm. you can see we've got the baskets. So let's get a stack of them. I'm going to need a cabinet with the drawers. I need a cash register. So that's one, two, three now. I'm going to need a storage shelf. 
We get one of them. And what's this? 2,700. Damn. it's a lot of money. Uh, we will come back up here in a second. Let's place this order. And we're going to head back down the street. Oh, oh, oh. Clicking on everything. And we're going to have to make another trip with this probably as well. Okay, let's get in here. So what we can do is park the vehicle. And we can manage this now from this way. So storage shelf, we're going to place. Uh, we know it's going to go out here in this storage room. Make sure the green arrow is facing wherever we want it to face. There we go. Uh, Okay, stack of shopping baskets we'll just place out the front of the door. Doesn't matter which way. I do. Uh, the cabinet with drawers then as well. I'm going to put the, the tilt up this way. Okay, yeah, the drawers are for the cashier, aren't they? So if we put that like here, we might put another one. I don't know. Not yet, because money is tight. And then the cash register is just make sure the arrow is that side for the customer. Uh, we'll need paper bags, okay. Not worried about that just yet. And yeah, guest is open but has no employees assigned. Well, maybe actually I should close that, shouldn't I? We're not ready to open it yet. My bad. Let's just keep it closed for the moment. Okay, now we're back in the store. Uh, so what I want to buy is a drinks fridge. I'm going to buy one rounded shelf. 1,200. Oh, I kind of want two of these. Let's get two of them. And we need a cleaning station. What's that going to leave us with? 8,000 for stock. That's not a lot. That's actually... Uh, it's quite tight. Hence why I still might do my day job tomorrow, just so there's an income. Then we'll quit it, get the car, and fill up for the next day. Okay, so we're back in here. Let's park that vehicle. Uh, so the cleaning station... just gonna put in here there we go now the rounded shelves even though there's two sides the customers only come from one so I think putting it like this is gonna be absolutely fine for the moment and it's unidentified I'm probably just gonna put a cheap gift in the first one and uh, we'll put a nice even amount there we go I'll do for you and I do have a drinks fridge that we have uh, to sell drinks to the customers with as well. Maybe we'll put it up here. Sure. Okay. Fortunately, we've got a few things I still need to do. Where's the little truck gone? It might be easier. What's the time? Oh, I don't know whether to just quit the job. Okay, there should be a wholesale uh, place down here. Let's just... Uh, where's my wholesales? Why did nothing pop up? Oh, they're miles away. Alright, we'll do... Oh, I kind of want to do that in a car tonight. Alright, we won't. We'll do the first trip will be to that little one. Now there's more product in the bigger one. Okay, 
but we'll just do the first. We might even be able to open up our own store tomorrow. I didn't think I'd get that far, but we might do. Okay, keep going. The busy goat. <laughs> Okay, here it is. Is that it? Yeah. So this is where we're going to buy all our products. So paper bags. It's going to cost me 200 and whatever that was. Cheap gifts, soda cans, cheap male clothing, uh, frozen food. Okay, well, let's get a cheap gift. That's 2,000. It's not cheap. What have we got here? Salad, fresh food, burgers, frozen food. Okay, so yeah, I definitely need the bigger one. That's going to cost me 2000 Jesus. Right, well, that's some of the items. Hey, uh, you know what? Let's quit the job. So, you're a gift shop owner now, huh? Yeah, very good. Very good. Now we've got some shopping to do. We'll get you some furniture and uh, some really nice products to sell in there. And uh, I also wanted to mention I uh, recently invested in a car dealership and we found kind of an old wreck of a car in the workshop in the back. But it still runs. It's not much. But it's yours if you want it. The key's in the glove compartment. Okay, let's try and go to our shop. So, the good news is, is, uh, well, I don't know why I'm trying to place these. There we go. They've already gone out onto the shelves here. So, what are we going to put in this one? Uh, maybe we'll put something like flowers. Cheap flour. And this one's going to have soda cans. Ah, oh, I could have got the soda cans then. I didn't. All right. I'm going to take this with me. Let's go get the car. Apparently it's down here. No idea what colour or what we're going to get. So fingers crossed. Something tasteful will be good. And it's a pink one. Nice. Okay. the car good now don't get any parking tickets as i said earlier it's time to pick up some stuff for your new store you're going to use your new car or continue running around oh very very nice starting to look like a real store now ah it's going crazy work, kiddo now it's time to open up and start handling some cash okay so what i want to do is go to here um cash, making some money i'm crossing my fingers as we can drive in there. Now, the car does have damage fuel, so we do have to be careful of all that kind of stuff. Like that. Don't just do what I did. Uh, the radio stations are apparently uh, stream, stream okay, which is really uh, a nice touch as well, I think. All right. I want to go where this truck's in the way of. I'm illegally parked, but I'm not. I, 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 I want to go in here. Really? So you do get fined for parking, and you do pay for parking during the day and stuff, so you do have to be careful. But you don't get told off for, like, red lights or anything, so don't worry about that. Oh god, I didn't think he was going to stop. Right. 
Little bit of hard work. There we go. Okay, so now we need to look what we're looking for here. Paper bag, paper bags, soda cans. Okay, so there's my first one. Let's get a box of soda cans. I think I can just put it in. Cheap gift, pizza, uh, salad, french fries. Okay, it's not down there. That's not what I'm looking for. Let's get back in the car then. Fresh food, croissants. Oh wow, cheap flowers. Here we go. That's probably what I'm after. Hey, cheap flowers are quite cheap. So what I'm gonna do is go and buy two boxes of them. There's only 40, so nice. And I think when I drive out right, it just pays. Okay, let's go back to gifts. We can drop this stuff off as I've quit my job. Hopefully we'll have some of the park outside the house. Now in uh, America you have to park the same way around, don't you? Okay, so this parking place seems to be okay. Let's manage the storage. Uh, oh, you know what? We could probably just walk them in. I have to get it off there. Oh uh, yeah, okay, I get you now. If you just place it, it goes in there. All right, not another problem. And we have one more in the car. We'll just get it out quickly. Okay, so that all looks good. If we open up the Bisman then and we go to our schedule, let's get our shop open like it should be. Uh, so let's go home for the day. We spent a lot of money. Uh, we're going to sleep. So we're open at 8. So let's sleep till you know, about half 7. Losing money again already. Okay, consume some more food. Let's go into our shop. So, here we go. Here's our little first shop opened. We're going to have to man the tills, unfortunately, and clean everything and do everything pretty much. Uh, so what we can do is assign ourselves here. We can fast forward the time. You can see the store's now open. There we go. Here's our first uh, customer. These are just cheap gifts here. There you go. That's what we like. Happy customers. Now, obviously, our footfall won't be so good to start with. And you can see that they're not very happy with the store. They don't play music. They don't do that. So we've got loads of stuff that we can add to these stores to make them better. The main thing is turning a profit. Okay, so that's just time warp. That's the first day done. 
Wow, we sold quite a few gifts, a few flowers as well there. I'm quite happy with that. Didn't sell any cans. So what we're going to do, just let's grab a mop quickly. You can see we've got 91%. If we just click around. Like, I can't really see any of the dirt anyways. Okay, and we can just discard that, and we're done. That's our first day done. Now... We would have made a little bit of money, but not a lot. I'm wondering, is it... Worth going up to the school? The walking when we've got a car. I know it makes no sense. You just get so used to not having it. What have we got? 5,000 in the bank. A little bit of stock. Not great. Okay, so fundamental business administration is the other one we need. And how many hours? 24 hours. And that cost me 160, so that's probably all that money from today. bit worried about what our loss is going to be. Okay, 217 is our total profit. That's not bad, actually. We are hungry, so let's consume the food. And go to work. It's great when we don't have so far to go, right? There you go, we've got a personal achievement. Oh, the business is closed, it's Sunday. Oh, what an idiot. Uh, <laughs> okay, so what I will do is, off camera, I'm going to go to the shop. We're going to uh, just buy some more cheap gifts to put in stock. Uh, so we have a bit of stock in here. I'm going to leave it there for the first episode. Let me know if you're enjoying this. Let me know, do you want me to continue? Like I said, let's see what businesses you want me to build. Uh, we'll try and see how much money we can make as quick as we can. Obviously, we want to be a multi-millionaire. So maybe something like uh, give ourselves a target of... Uh, well, you let me know in the comments down below. What do you think is a good target in the game? I'm sure a lot of you have played a lot more. Um, and then we'll go from there. Other than that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.